Italy today is an outlier within the G8, a forum that brings together eight global leaders, because it doesn't possess a single nuclear power plant. Italy officially closed its last nuclear power station in 1990, just four years after the incident in Chernobyl, where, let's just say, people were reminded what nuclear power looks like gone wrong. Because of this, Italy has had to rely heavily on other countries for gas and coal imports to heat the homes, offices, and power the factories of the country's 60 million residents. To give you an idea of how heavily reliant Italy is on imports, 92% of its natural gas supply comes from abroad. This is because Italy, much like many other European countries, lacks domestic sources of fossil fuels, meaning that it has to be nearly entirely dependent on external supplies. By now, you may be seeing where I'm going with this. Italy is heavily dependent on foreign gas supplies, especially from Russia, pretty much because apart from a few places already exporting at maximum capacity, mainland Europe is a fossil fuel desert. Of the 92% that it imports from abroad, a whopping 45% comes directly from Russia. Now, this wouldn't be such a major event if this was in a time where the West and Russia were relatively at ease. Except, as you may certainly already know, this isn't the case. Because of Russia's invasion of Ukraine, the situation is incredibly difficult for Italy. As Italy is currently a member of both NATO and the EU, it's taking a heavy anti-Russian stance on the situation, and it's imposing sanctions as well as offering aid to Ukraine, like many of the Alliance's members. However, because Russia controls such a monumental amount of energy entering the country, it means they can't afford to be as strict as they might like to be, for example, completely refusing to buy any Russian energy, for fear of Russia limiting or even cutting off gas supplies to the country completely, leaving millions of homes without power, and effectively what Russia is doing is like a form of international blackmail. So by now, you are hopefully slightly up to date on Italy's current energy reliance, which is, to put it lightly, absolutely abysmal. So, let's say that Italy's government decided to actually go ahead with nuclear power, and completely overhaul the way the country is supplied with electricity. What would the pros and cons be? And would it actually be realistic for the country? Well, firstly, the biggest reason people oppose nuclear power are the monumental risks associated with it. There have been two major disasters including nuclear power, the first one in Chernobyl, and the second one in Fukushima. Whether a nuclear power station's meltdown is the fault of humans or not, the amount of damage caused by a nuclear power plant being damaged or destroyed is absolutely huge. Because unlike a fire or a natural disaster, you can't enter the surrounding area of a nuclear power plant because of the radiation. Much like when a nuclear bomb is dropped, the surrounding area is flooded with so much radiation and radioactive material it's unsafe for humans to be anywhere near. And what makes this even worse is the fact that radiation can last for over a hundred years. Meaning, if something is to go wrong with a nuclear power plant, it isn't just expensive to clean up and manage, it also has devastatingly long-lasting effects on wildlife and the people who live near the plant. Another main reason why many oppose nuclear power is the nuclear waste that is created when generating power. Currently, we haven't found a way to dispose of the waste, and usually resort to burying it underground and sealing it in with rocks and clay, which obviously isn't a long-term solution as the waste can emit radioactive particles, which again, can be harmful to animal and human health. Lastly, nuclear energy is expensive, like really expensive, and takes a long time to be constructed. For example, a power plant in Somerset called Hinkley Point C has already cost over 20 billion pounds, or just over 24 billion dollars to construct, and the power plant isn't even complete, despite destruction starting over five years ago. For reference, a usual natural gas-fired power station is normally up and running in around two years, whereas Hinkley Point C is expected to be producing energy in 2027. So, you can see that for Italy, it doesn't look like a particularly appealing choice for the government right now. Okay, so now you may be thinking, if you've just spent around a third of the video talking about why nuclear power is terrible, why should Italy even take into account using it? Well, I believe although nuclear power has its drawbacks, it could be the key to long-term energy security for Italy and help the country immensely on the world stage. Towards the start of the video, I talked about Italy's current energy situation and how it imports massive amounts of energy from other countries, including Russia. Well, if Italy were to build enough nuclear power plants to provide energy to most of the population, it would mean it could almost entirely boycott Russian energy and be able to effectively sanction countries such as Russia because they wouldn't have to fear about Putin turning off the fuel tap. 
The construction of the nuclear power plants would be expensive, but would also offer thousands of jobs across the country, and money would also be saved, as Italy wouldn't have to spend nearly as much on energy imports. Another bonus for the Italian people would be that the prices of heating and electricity would likely fall. Italy today currently has some of the most expensive energy prices in Europe because of the amount of energy it's importing. However, if most of its energy was produced domestically, I wouldn't be surprised if its energy prices fell. I mean, look at France. 70% of its energy is nuclear, and it's had to raise energy prices amid the global energy crisis by a staggering 4%. For context, in Britain, prices have gone up over 50%, and in Italy, people may be paying 83% more on energy than they were the year before. Nuclear power plants need large quantities of water to be used for cooling, and therefore suitable places are either inland sites near rivers, reservoirs or large bodies of water, or on or near the coast, which Italy has 7,500 kilometres of. I only made this video about nuclear power for Italy because it's one of the few countries which may actually be able to radically change its energy industry. Although it costs an unimaginable amount to build new plants, Italy is a very rich nation, and with the right mix of government and private funding, I believe there is a real chance Italy could make this happen. Except, in my eyes, there are two factors which I think left unsolved could make this a significantly more difficult task for Italy to pull off. The first one being that Italian leadership changes a lot. Since 1946, post-war Italy, there have been 29 different Prime Ministers. On average, Italy has had a different Prime Minister every 14 months, and one of them, Fernando Tambroni, only governed for 123 days. It means that for the current Prime Minister, Mario Draghi, and I did not pronounce that right, who hasn't even been in office in more than two years, Putting in a long-term, extremely costly and controversial plan would be difficult to actually make a reality. Because leadership changes so quickly, he could be voted out in favour of someone else with entirely different views. Secondly, to be able to justify using nuclear power, disposal and recycling of nuclear waste needs to be heavily improved, not just to be used in Italy, but for the world. One key feature of nuclear is that it doesn't produce any carbon emissions when generating electricity, However, it still pollutes in the form of nuclear waste. We need to be able to use this byproduct in a productive way, or at least minimise drastically the amount created when generating energy, because in 2022, not having a way just isn't good enough. If scientists and researchers do find a viable way to repurpose this waste, then it will not only help the environment, but also eliminate one of the major drawbacks to nuclear power in the first place, making the case for building them even stronger. Overall, I believe nuclear power could absolutely transform Italy in many ways. It would help strengthen the country in a geopolitical sense and secure its population energy security for decades to come. It would hopefully lower the prices of energy in the country, which are today some of the highest in the world, and help solve Italy's problems with energy. Thanks for all the support on my last video, and thanks for watching, and have a great day.